You have five minutes. Well, Mr. Chairman, there's conflicting views here about the best way to have bikes on roadways. And the proposal that's in front of us now is to give dedicated lanes and to take some of that access off the streets and onto areas where it's safer, where you don't have the conflict with vehicles. And I have to tell you that the sentiment that I hear and what I've seen with many of the riders in this unfortunate in downtown area it's more congested is there may be a lane on the side of the road for bikes that cars aren't supposed to go in and they sometimes do but the cyclists don't stay in the lanes they get to an intersection and the lane seems to continue as a crosswalk I saw it this morning where a cyclist was almost killed going down a bike lane driver was coming down to turn right on the street and the cyclist turned and proceeded right across the sidewalk as if it was a bike lane because it was painted lines again and almost got struck by the motorist who had the right of way and the cyclist who didn't because they were riding across the walkway. I've seen on Jarvis Street, which I drive down, not a large number of cyclists, but I see the cyclists come down and just north of Dundas Street, there's a light for pedestrians. And I see the pedestrians press the light to cross and on, on ongoing occasions the cyclists continue to ride right through the light because those traffic signals don't seem to matter for them. And in fact, about oh, two weeks ago, saw a cyclist come down and as a pedestrian stepped off the road and the cyclist was just barreling down had to hit his brakes when flying off the bike because they didn't obey the traffic regulations. I saw an article about bikes running on the news uh, cut. I saw the TTC streetcar stop and weaving in between the passengers getting on and off where it says do not pass. Wasn't one but a number of cyclists. The problem we have is that cycling can be environmentally good and in the right places and I believe dedicated lanes is correct but there are far too many cyclists that are not following the rules of the road and are creating dangerous situations for themselves and for others where they take the sidewalk as their right of way, the bike lane as their right of way, the roadway as their right of way it doesn't matter what it is and the crosswalks as their right of way and it's a problem where people are getting hurt because they aren't acting properly and within the law. And they're really is starting to get a feeling out there that cyclists should be licensed. So you can identify who they are and be able to control their actions because in speaking to the uh, chief of police, it's a problem that he's having difficulty managing. So just to put our heads down blindly and keep saying, let's add more bike lanes, let's paint lines on this street, paint lines on that street, paint lines on this street, and take out traffic capacity which creates more frustration in motorists which gives a greater conflict, hasn't worked. Just drive in the downtown core and see what's happening. And drive along some of these, and drive on pharmacy. It doesn't work. It was a political decision to put it in. I've driven there. It doesn't work. It's the plan that's in front of us now, in my opinion, for dedicated lanes, but safe areas for cyclists to go is appropriate. There also has to be, as we heard earlier, more reasons to actually teach a rider, if they don't want to obey the rules of the road, how to ride on the roadway safely. And I cannot support the motions that are here that keep saying, let's just go ahead, paint more lines, put in more bike lanes, because that's the way to go. The cyclists can still travel on the road without the bike lane. They can travel in a safe manner. And we have to get cycling itself under control in the city so it's safe and I believe the dedicated lanes are the appropriate way to do it providing the pathways for it is the appropriate way to do it and I'm supporting the motions that I hear from my counselor, my colleague Councillor Grimes and I believe Councillor Parker in trying to get access down Redway Road is a real reasonable way to go because it's much better than going down the Bayview Extension if you can get through your way from the top and get down there because I know that plaza there as well I think it's more reasonable what we're doing, and I think those that are saying we're ruining things are just taking the fact that we put our heads down, we charged ahead without seeing all the problems that may be created. It was a full speed ahead, damn the torpedoes move to stick bite lanes through, through the city, and in some areas it's been a problem. So it's time for a second rethink on it, it's time for some changes, it's time for dedicated lanes, and that's what I'm supporting. Uh, 